Hey guys, I'm Bryson here, and today we're gonna do a book review on Inner Engineering by Set Guru. And by the way, if you guys have been on TikTok or on YouTube or any social media out there, you probably heard about this guy before. He's literally everywhere when it comes about emotions and everything else out there, okay? So I found out about this guy a very long time ago when I searched at the top about, hey, how to make sure you don't get angry when people talk to you or anything like that, okay? And I found him. He was like, hey, don't let anybody control your emotions only control your emotions yourself, okay? Because if you let them control your emotions, in reality, you will never be in control. And that taught me a very valuable lesson. However, though, in this book right here, and I did not know he had a book, by the way, but I found it because basically, I saw an interview with him on Impact Theory on YouTube, and he said, hey, I have a book. It's called In Engineering. So I went ahead and said, hey, let me go ahead and read this book. And in this video right here, I'll tell you the five main points I enjoyed the most out of this book. Now, by the way, the guy is a yogi. Till this moment, I thought yogi and yoga was like the same thing. And it was just like you twisting your body and like that. Okay, turns out it's a whole spiritual thing. And it makes a lot of sense, okay? And the whole idea is kind of like a religion based on spiritual being of the body. And also, for example, just science of trial and error, meaning that it's like whatever they tell you, they don't expect you to believe it. They expect you to go out there and try it for yourself. That way you can confirm whatever they told you is actually true. It's that type of thing. And I actually enjoy it a lot. However, am I a yogi? The answer is no. Do you need to be a yogi to read this book? The answer is no. Do you need to care about religion or spiritual stuff to care about this book? The answer is no. There is a lot of good information here, and that's why I read the book. And that's why I recommend you actually go ahead and read this book also. Now, if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day, so you should also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified, and on top of that, also destroy the like button. And by the way, if you wanna get this book right here for free, I have a link down below to Audible, so when you click my link, you get two free books, you can get this book right here, and also my favorite book ever called The Richest Man in Babylon. So get those two free books, and by the way, even if you cancel, you still get to keep them. There's no risk whatsoever, so go get those two free books on Audible. And by the way, yes, I did listen to the book. I did not read the book. I'm a good listener, not as much as a good reader. I get very bored very quickly, but when I'm listening to it, it just goes by a lot better. And by the way, the guy is an excellent narrator, and there's also a lot of stories here, and also a lot of <laughs> hilarious moments in this book, okay? Not like, oh, this sounds ridiculous, but more like, hey, this guy's actually funny. Like he's actually funny. I'm not laughing at him, I'm laughing with him. It's a big difference, okay? Now, the very first thing guys, that I learned in this book is basically trial and error is very important when it comes to trying to figure out life and what you actually wanna do. And by the way, it reminded me a lot of You Can't Break Me by David Goggins. By the way, that's also a book. But in that book, David Goggins wants to know basically <laughs> how far he can push his body until it actually breaks, okay? That's the idea there in a sense, but it's all about trial and error. Same thing here. The whole idea is, hey, you know what? I wanna become more spiritual. I wanna become more happy. I wanna have more joy in my life. How do you do that? The answer is, in the book, is all about going out there and trying it out for yourself and figuring out exactly how everything actually works. So the author basically, Sekuru, he spends a lifetime, well not lifetime, he's still alive, okay? But basically a lifetime just trying things out and figuring them out for himself. So although there is past information, he doesn't just take that, but he also goes ahead and says, hey, okay, so we have this information right here. Let me go ahead and confirm everything by actually putting myself through that and basically figuring things out for my own self also at the same time. That's why trial and error is very important. That's why trying things for yourself is very important. Now I'm not saying, well, I'm gonna jump off this tree to see if my leg breaks. Well, that's stupid, but what I am saying is basically, in life, trial and error is very important. Trying things out yourself to say exactly, hey, what do you like? What are you good at? What makes you happy? What makes you sad? That's the entire idea. You gotta try things out yourself. If you wanna meditate, try that yourself. You wanna make money, try that yourself, okay? It's about trying things out yourself and not just taking everything at face value and believing everything you read or everything you heard about out there. Try things out for yourself. Be a scientist. Experiment a lot, a lot, a lot. And that's why this whole religion of the yogis, in a way, is spiritual. Yes, the body, the mind, the spirit, the soul, all this stuff, but it's also, for example, scientific. 
because it's all about, well, what do we believe? But let's go ahead and go ahead and prove that to make sure it's actually making sense, okay? That's the, and by the way, it's very unique when it comes to a religion to actually do this in a way. Now, the second thing I learned, guys, is basically survival isn't enough when it comes to humans, okay? Now, let me break this down very clearly here, guys, okay? In survival, what do I mean by this, okay? I mean, for example, in life, modern history, okay? All we need is basically four things. We need shelter, we need utilities, we need, for example, groceries, and on top of that, we also need transportation to actually get from one place to the next place, okay? However, survival, that is the starting point for human life, okay? People don't start with survival, they want more and they want more. But for example, when you have a lion, they're just happy to just survive. If they have a full stomach and they're basically sleeping, they're very, very happy. But for people, survival is just the beginning. And also being comfortable does not equal happiness either, okay? That's, that's a massive thing, you know, because for the first time ever in history, people are as comfortable as they've ever been in the entire history. The way we live today is how kings and queens wish they would have lived in the past, okay? We have fridges, we have the internet, so we have everything we absolutely need. However, though, we still have massive depression. We still have a bunch of medical people. We still have a lot of problems, which basically means that, hey, the answer is not comfort. It's not just money. It's not just survival. It's not just having a full stomach, but in reality, it's more about internal happiness, okay? And that's why the whole book is about inner engineering, which basically means if you want to change anything, you got to start by changing yourself. The answer is not external. The answer is basically within and trying to figure out exactly, hey, what makes me happy? What do I actually want to do? That is the whole concept of this book. And by the way, I like it a lot. Okay. It's an amazing book. And by the way, I think it's Dave Ramsey that says basically, if you want to be happy, have low expectations. And if you want to be unhappy, my uncle says, hey, try to please everyone out there. But the book says, hey, if you want to be happy or unhappy or sad or depressed or whatever else you want to, by the way, not like medically depressed, that's different. But if you just want to be sad and all those things, the answer is, well, that's all in you. That's all within you. You have everything you need right now currently to be a better person or to be a happy person. But it all starts in the inner, in yourself inner engineering okay that's that's the whole concept here and by the way guys it also reminds me you know of when i was actually growing up you know if anyone got me mad in a way it would kind of like ruin my entire day okay because if you got me mad well now i'm thinking about it constantly but in reality whenever somebody can shift your emotions or ruin your whole day in a way that person has control over you and that's why it's so important that you can actually control yourself and make yourself be happy okay so when somebody makes me angry for a second i'm like am i gonna let this person control my life the answer is no so i kind of like get over it very quickly because again if you can't control yourself and your own body, then what do you have? You kind of have nothing. You kind of have a vessel that's being controlled by everyone else and it actually by you, your whole soul and mind. And by the way, I know it's kind of getting spiritual here, but the whole concept is it's a spiritual book and that's why I'm kind of being a little bit more spiritual for this video right here, okay? Now, the third lesson I learned in this book is basically bullish might get you to the top but it will not keep you there, okay? And by the way, there's a bull right there. And by ish, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Bull, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? The whole thing is that that might get you to the top, but it will not keep you there. For example, my whole middle school and high school, I was doing, for example, a lot of bull pooping, okay? That's all I was doing. And I was getting excellent grades. But when it came to the SATs, I did not study. And I tried to bullish that thing too. And it did not go well. So what happened was basically, although I was basically in the top of my class in high school, I got rejected by almost almost all the colleges that I actually applied to, okay? Because basically, I was BSing when I should have been actually working hard. You know, in this book, there's a story about a pheasant and also, for example, a bull. Now, a pheasant, by the way, is a bird that's usually hunted all the time, okay? But the idea is that basically the pheasant and basically the bull, they live in a farm, okay? And the pheasant is actually friends with the bull and comes to visit him all the time. And he says basically, hey, you know what? I used to be able to fly all the way to the top of that tree, all the way to the top. But now, 
my wings, they barely let me get to the first branch. And the bull says, well, I have a solution, my friend. All you have to use, all you have to do is basically eat my poop, okay? That's the solution. And you're like, Tommy, what are you doing here, okay? That's what I said when I read this book, okay? But it's in the book, and that's what I'm telling you guys, okay? And the pheasant says, are you crazy? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not stupid. He says, no, 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 try it. Everyone else is basically doing it. So he goes ahead and says, okay, how long to do it for? He says, well, just do it for four weeks and you'll be able to get all the way to the top of the tree. The pheasant says, okay, he tries it. He does it for one day, then two days, then three days. Again, he's eating the bull's poop, okay? And he starts to fly. He gets to the first branch, the second branch, the third branch. And by the end of the second week, supposed to be four weeks, he gets all the way to the top. And right there when he gets all the way to the top, guess what happened? He relaxes and the farmer sees the pheasant, again, pheasants are hunted, and shoots the pheasant down. He's done, okay? And the whole idea of the story is, bullish might get you to the top, but it will not keep you there. So you can't BS yourself for long, although you might get very far, you won't get very far in the important things in life. And by the way, that is one of the magical things about this book, Everything is story-based. Everything is broken down very simply so everyone out there can actually understand it. By the way, guys, I got a new watch. You guys like it? Check it out, okay? Cost me $15. It's an amazing watch. Now, by the way, guys, that's not all I learned from this book, okay? But it's basically a lesson I've learned for a very long time, okay? Whenever it comes to anything out there, you can't BS. You got to go out there and actually do the work and get to what you actually want to get towards, okay? However, number four, guys, is all about the story of the old man and the frog. It's a very good story. I'll tell you about it in a second, okay? But the idea is that basically past a certain point, you don't need more money because more money will not make you happy and it would actually not really improve your life that much. Tell me, you can say that because you make a lot of money. The answer is no, you know? I think it's Jordan Peterson that says, hey, you know what? Past $60,000, humans do not need more money to actually make them happier because you have everything that you actually need if you actually have that 60 k unless you have, for example, a bunch of debt, and that's a whole different topic for another day. But overall, the point is you got to understand why you do what you do and not just what you actually want to get out of it, okay? You don't want to be the guy that basically has this one goal. And the only thing is I have this one goal, but you don't know why you actually want what you have. You know, I want a lot of money. Why? I don't know, I just want a lot of money, okay? That's why for me, the overall idea is yes, although I do want to have a lot of money, it's all for a reason, the why. I want financial freedom, and I also want to donate over a billion dollars in my lifetime to charity and build an insurance company to take care of people way past what I'm actually gone. That's the whole idea, that is my why. That's my reasoning, okay? But if I just wanted, like, just, like, happiness overall, just, like, have enough money there, like, 60K, 40K, 20K, that will be more than enough than I actually do need, okay? Now, the story is this, guys, okay? There's an old man, and this old man is 83 years old, okay? 83 years old, and he loves fishing. So he's in the river one day, and he's fishing, okay? An hour passes by, two hours, three hours, four hours, and he has caught no fish whatsoever. And right about when he's about to leave, when he feels a tug, he pulls it in and guess what it is? It's actually just a frog, okay? When he grabs it, he's like, oh, just a frog. When he's about to throw it in, the frog says, hey, stop, I can talk, okay? Don't throw me in. He's like, what, what is going on here, right? And it's a funny story. And he says, what are you doing here talking to me, okay? You're a frog. And the frog says, well, if you give me a kiss, <laughs> if you give me, <laughs> if you, it's funny how all these stories are just like our stories, but with different meanings and things like that, okay? Just like the, like the princess story. And he says, basically, if you give me a kiss, I will turn into a beautiful young woman. Okay, and the <laughs> and the old guy sits there and he thinks for a second and he's thinking and he's thinking and he's thinking. And the frog says, are you not listening to me? I'll turn into a beautiful young woman. Just give me one kiss, okay? <laughs> the old man grabs the frog, throws in the bucket and doesn't say a word. And then the frog says, why are you not kissing me? The, the old man says, well, I'm 83 years old. I have no business with a, with a young woman, but in reality, I do smell money listening to you talk. And that's made me a lot of money. The overall idea with that story is basically that 
It makes no sense to get something that does not benefit you in any way. It makes sense to use whatever you actually want to use to go out there and achieve what you actually want to achieve. In this case, my definition, the old guy wants some money, maybe for a better lifestyle, whatever it is, okay? But having, for example, a young woman where your energy does not keep up with it, what's the point of having that, okay? That's the whole idea. Having, for example, a Lamborghini that's very uncomfortable or, for example, having a Corolla or, or, or a Honda, whatever it is, you get from point A to point B. Do you actually need to make all that money to get a Lambo? The answer is probably not, right? Probably not. So the whole concept is what do you need over what is it you want? But more importantly, why do you actually want what you say you actually want? Okay. That was a very important lesson for me also, because by the way, at a certain point, I was very obsessed with just making a bunch of money, but if it risks everything I actually want, then what's the point of actually doing that? Okay. It's about getting there in a safe manner and making sure I'm actually happy along the way because happiness starts today, not tomorrow or the next day. That's not what you want to do. Life is very short. Now, the fifth lesson, guys, that I learned, the fifth and final lesson, by the way, is about responsibility. And responsibility basically means the way you respond to things, okay? That's all responsibility basically is, the way I respond to something. And the story about a couple, and the couple has a responsibility, right? And they always argue. But when they argue, they just don't talk. And whoever talks first has to do whatever the thing that they, they didn't want to do actually is. So one day the wife and the husband, they wake up, okay? And the wife sees that basically the door was left open. And she gets so mad. She's like, you know what? Today, I'm just not going to talk whatsoever and you are not going to win. Because again, whoever talks first has to go ahead and close the door. And again, Responsibility is the way you respond to things, okay? So they both grab a chair, they both sit down, and they both don't talk. Because the husband says in his head, well, I'm not going to talk either because I'm tired of losing also. The wife says the same thing. They're not talking, talking, talking. Now, an hour passes by, then three, then five. Before you know it, it's getting dark and it's about to be dinner time. When the wife's about to say, do you want anything for dinner? She says, oh, oh, I forgot. I can't talk. Now, before you know it, again, the door is still open. And now some people, some hoodlums or bad people walk by and see the doors open. They come inside. They see the couple inside and they're not talking. They're just sitting there staring at each other. They get inside, they grab some seats, the couple sees them, doesn't say a word. They grab some chairs, they start to eat their food, and they're like, what is wrong with this couple here? Why are they not talking? Why are they not upset, okay? They go as far as basically start stealing their furniture, and on top of that, one of the thieves, in a sense, goes ahead and gives the lady a kiss, the guy's wife, okay? He gives him a kiss, and the guy still does not talk. And the only time he talks is basically when one of the thieves grabs a, a razor to cut his mustache. And that's when he said, okay, 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 I'm gonna close the door, okay? But the lesson here is basically, responsibility is very important. And me personally, the big thing is basically that you gotta understand how you respond to things. And not just, for example, having these little like games of like, I'm not gonna talk to you. You know, just get to the bottom of things, okay? What's the problem here? Let's fix that. Let's talk about it. It's basically just get all the way there to the core. And that made me think about, for example, my relationship, because basically sometimes we have arguments. We're not perfect, right? And sometimes I just don't talk. I just don't talk. And it made me think about, am I like this guy right here? I'm not to that extreme. But yeah, I think it's just a better idea when you have a problem with anyone, not just like a couple or whatever. Just sit down and talk things through and really understand exactly what's actually going on. Now, by the way, guys, overall, that is it for the five main lessons. However, though, guys, in this book, there's also a lot of talk about, for example, people curing cancer, medical things, you gotta fast, you know, you soak vegetables and nuts, all this stuff, don't mix your foods. A lot of health things in this book also. And by the way, some of them are actually proven, but the answer is, when you read this book, be very careful with the health stuff, okay? Just make sure everything is verified. You try things out and don't try to do something stupid that doesn't make sense for you. Just be very, very, very careful, okay? Overall, it's a great book. It's a great read overall, okay, guys? But again, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
Comment down below also and let me know, for example, any other books you actually have in mind that you want me to read. That way I can read it, get information, learn, make a video about it and help other people also. And by the way, if you like this book and how it sounds, by the way, a lot more stories in this book, a lot of great stories. Well, go get it for free on Audible. Link down below. When you join with my link, you get two free books. And don't forget to get my favorite book called The Richest Man in Babylon. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. And top by also, follow me on Instagram, type Bryson. If you guys want to join me on Patreon and call me all the time, link down below. Or if you want to join me on my third channel, Accent Bryson, well, link down below also. And also subscribe to my second channel, the reaction channel, link down below also. I have three channels overall, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And on top of that, also click right here, another video. On top of my face right here, subscribe to the channel. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.